Hey y'all, it's Ashley. Um, I just want to do a quick video um, before I get started. Though I do want to apologize for my voice. Um, I'm battling a sinus infection right now. It's so fun. Um, all this ragweed and pollen, and it's just got my allergies all tore up. But I went to the doctor the day before yesterday and he gave me an antibiotic and some Allegra and I'm on Mucinex. And I am feeling better today than I have the last two days. <coughs> I'm sorry. But I still sound pretty rough. So, um, and I had to work yesterday, so I had to do a lot of talking. And, um, yeah. So, what I wanted this video to be about um, is something that pretty much everyone that I've heard of or know about that's had bariatric surgery, no matter what kind it is. Um, has dealt with and that is hair loss. Um, it is something that is very difficult. You know it's probably going to happen to you, but you hope it's not. <laughs> and no matter how well you try to, you know, prepare yourself, chances are you're going to lose some hair. Um, I am, well, okay, I'm a little over four and a half months post-op. I'll be five months post-op on the 15th. Um, most doctors say you really start noticing hair loss between three and six months post-op. Um, everybody's different. You know, the amount of hair that you'll lose, that ranges from person to person. <coughs> so sorry. Um, so, you know, I mean, you always are like, hey, hopefully mine won't be too bad. Um, and it comes on all of a sudden. It's like just one day you wake up and you start losing hair. Um, with me, I took cosmetology. Um, I've been in beauty school. And, you know, I'm like most women. I'm very attached to my hair. So the thought of losing my hair really bothered me. Um before it even started happening, before I even had my surgery, that was one of my biggest concerns is, you know, I'm going to lose all my hair, I'm going to look like I'm on chemo, it's going to be bad, you know, um, how am I going to deal with that? And about a month ago, I got up one day and it just started coming out. Um, more than normal in the shower is where I mainly noticed it. And as the days and weeks progressed, it got to where it was falling out really bad um, on my clothes. I have to wear black to work. So my coworkers and my boss will be picking hair off of me throughout the day. Um, it's all over my shirt. It looks like somebody just pretty much shaved a cat or something. <laughs> After I get done blow drying my hair, it's everywhere. It's all over the floor. It's all in the sink. It's it's everywhere. Um, and like when I brush my hair, the amount of hair that's in my brush will look like what used to take like a week, week and a half to accumulate in like two days. Um, and it's hard. It messes with your psyche really bad. Um, <coughs> as a woman, and I'm sure it's the same way for men. But, you know, our, if we have a bad hair day or whatever, it affects our entire mood. So, to get up every single day and know that you're just going to be having massive amounts of hair falling out all day long is really hard to deal with. Um, my hair has been shorter since I had my daughter. My hair used to be really long. It used to be almost to my elbows, as y'all can see in some of my previous videos. And, uh... I've kept it cut shoulder length or shorter since I had my daughter. Um, and I had highlights put in, hoping, you know, it would kind of mask the hair loss. Um, but it's not stopped. It's not slowed down. And um, it's, I can tell by the feel of my hair the difference, even if nobody else can. Sorry, I'm going to eat some cheese. <laughs> um, so... The other day, I called my hairstylist who's been doing my hair since I was like 13. And I told her, I said, this is really bothering me. I said, I feel like the ends are getting really thin. And it's just coming out like crazy. And it's dry. You know, 
because of all the changes to my diet, dehydration, all of that. Because, <clears throat> I mean, you really are what you eat. It affects your hair, it affects your nails, it affects your skin, everything. And so, we've made an appointment for me to come in and for her to look at it. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have it cut. Um, I've been looking around for various hairstyles the last couple of days. And I think I'm going to go with an A-line balm. I found one that I really like. It shouldn't be much shorter really than what I have now. It's just a different style. And hopefully it will give me some more volume. Because I mean when you work in a professional type situation you know I can't wear ponytails every day. I have to be able to fix my hair and look professional. And right now it just doesn't want to do anything. So I'm going to try to attempt to show you all a picture of what I'm wanting to have done on my phone. Um, so I mean as you can see it's a very cute hairstyle. I think it'll match my face shape really well. Um, I think it'll give me something other than what I have right now which obviously my hair looks like crap right now because I took a shower and haven't done anything with it. But I'm going to try to show you all my my issues um, and I, like I said it's not very noticeable to other people but it's noticeable to me um, my hair is thin significantly right through here in the front um, and like when I pull my hair up I mean I've always just had really 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 thick hair and like I even feel like up through here is thinner um, but you know, it's it just feels so much thinner than it used to be. Um, and I mean, as y'all can see, you know, just by touching it, it just comes out like crazy. So it's you know, it sucks. <laughs> I don't want it to stop. You know, um, I've definitely lost enough, and I want it to stop. <laughs> so I don't know when. It will stop. There's no way no one. I've heard people, you know, say, up your protein, use nioxin shampoo, take biotin. I don't use nioxin shampoo because it's like twenty something dollars a bottle, and I've just had too much going on to get it. But I do take biotin. I do get in as much protein as I can other than the protein shakes which is something I know I need to work on and I'm going to get them because I'm not taking them like I should you know I, I try to get my protein through food but even at four and a half months post-op it's really really hard if not impossible to get in 70 grams of protein a day you know it's you pretty much have to eat constantly and since we can't eat and drink at the same time you never get to drink anything so at least I know I can get 20 grams of protein out of my protein shakes. So if I can have two a day, then that should give me 40 grams and I should be able to get right at it or very close to 70 grams a day. So that's got to be priority number one. But I wanted to jump on here, get y'all's opinion. I want to hear about your experiences with hair loss. Um, you know, how much hair you lost from when it started, you know, how soon after surgery, when it stopped, would be something I'd really like to know. Because um, I've heard some people lose hair on up until a year out once they stop losing weight so fast. Um, <clears throat> and I'm thinking, how can that happen? Like, how can you lose weight until you're a year out? and have hair left you know it's like I don't understand that um, but today is a pretty big day because I weighed myself today and I'm officially 75 pounds down um, I cannot even believe that I cannot wrap my mind around that number um, so when I started I was 235 and when I got on the scale this morning I'm 160 so I can't believe I'm getting ready to be out of the 160s and be into the 150s. Um, 
you know, it, it blows my mind. But so it's se 75 is a big number, you know. Um, that number makes me very, very happy. So I've got to head to my stylist, and I'll probably re record another video when I get back and let y'all see the result of my hair and find out what y'all think. And I, I trust her wholeheartedly. Um, I, I know she'll do a great job, and you know, and that she'll make me feel sassy, you know, and, and give me a style that I love. I'm disappointed that I've had to result to cutting it though because I've been wanting to grow it out and it's just not growing. Um, so I'm really kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place. It's either live with it like this, not liking the style and it's just falling out everywhere, or I'm trying to get something I can work with, you know, to at least feel good about my hair, even though it's coming out by the handfuls. So yeah, just leave your comments and you know your experiences below and I will record again here in a little while and let y'all know how it turned out. Talk to you later. Bye.